Let's continue. Children are now asking the question, why? This question may be putting some parents in a tough position trying to figure out how to start the conversation. WSBT 22's Lauren Becker is at the live desk. And Lauren, these conversations can be difficult to have, but the experts say they are absolutely necessary to have. Bob, social workers at South Bend Community Schools say all parents should be having an open conversation about what's happening across the country right now. They say not saying anything can cause even more fears and anxiety among children. Now, so many children are seeing what's on TV and hearing family members talk about the protests and police brutality. Social workers I spoke to say the most important thing you can do as a parent is be truthful and honest about what's going on. But how you approach the conversation will be different depending on how old your kids are. Ask your child what they know and how they feel about it to get a gauge for how in-depth the conversation should be. Then discuss the differences in this country and emphasize that these differences need to be celebrated. And if your child asks why people are marching and speaking out, assure them it's to make a positive change. Let them know that th this is a problem. People have people, there is racism, people have differences, um, and we need to address those today to change tomorrow. You don't have to go into great detail because like I said, age determines of the understanding. So just basically talking to them about why this is happening, what's happening, why are people marching? Why are people so angry? Both social workers I spoke to say a majority of the change starts with the younger generations. If your child is too young to understand what is happening, but you still want them to start celebrating differences, other experts recommend reading children's books that introduce them to other cultures. At the Live Desk, Lauren Becker, WSBT 22 News.